Hello you awesome people out there and today I'm going to show you how to pick up a photo like this and convert into this not using Photoshop or Lightroom. Yes, I used to use Lightroom before and Photoshop but then it comes at a cost of uh, monthly and annual subscription and I'm not really a big fan of that. So I decided to switch over to Lumina 4. It's an amazing software, it's AI driven and the AI is really, it stands for artificial intelligence, I'm sure you must be knowing but then the intelligence factor is, ooh. All right guys, uh, so let's get on with the editing part. Yeah, I'm gonna select this landscape and this self-portrait of mine. So let's start with this landscape. Okay, so let's start off with the AI Enhance and see what it does. So when you open AI Enhance, it's got AI Accent and AI Sky Enhancer. So let's see what AI Accent does. When I move on to 100%, so as you can see, it brings out the highlights, it brings out the shadows very nicely and it doesn't really change or alter much of the much of the image actual image you know so that's what i like about this uh, software now let's boost up the ai sky enhancer and now you can see it's making it more dark it's making it more moody dramatic you know i'm going to show you a cool feature later on so let's 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 not bump up to the max let's just put it around 70 75 like that all right, let's move on to the AI structure. So what AI structure is basically is that uh, it's, it's somewhat like the clarity uh, function in the Lightroom you must have used. So what it does is, now let me show you. The moment I start increasing it, as you can see, the, 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 the cuts in the mountain and the, the desert and all, you know, the, the grains, they're just coming up, they're just popping out, you know, and if I boost it, you see it's making it a bit more dramatic you know so it's up to you i mean you can go to whatever extent you want i usually don't use this that much uh, if required i use ai structure a bit and i boost it just a tad bit like 20 percent right now okay now let's go to landscape enhancer now just like the dehaze function in the lightroom even this has a dehaze function but it's got the golden hour and the foliage enhancer. I'll show you what it is. Let's dehaze it. Okay, all right. So as soon as you dehaze, okay, dehaze is pretty straightforward. It just removes all the haze. Golden hour is pretty interesting. As soon as I bump up the golden hour, so golden hour is basically the sunset and sunrise, one hour before and one hour after. So what is what it does over here is that it gives that warm look to the image. So I don't I don't usually use this particularly but it's a good good tool which they have so if I bump it up to 100 so you can see it's it's got that nice sun falling on the whole landscape now you know that's pretty awesome actually I should have done that I don't know why I didn't but okay anyways so foliage and answer now as soon as I increase the foliage and answer bump it up to 100 now you see the grass over here so if you see the grass over here let me just bring down to zero you saw that so the grass and the greenery just boosts up. And the cool part is you can go to advanced settings and you can actually set the temperature for the foliage. Like if you if you want it on the red side or the green side or whatever. Right, so that was it. Now let me, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now you can, um, I, I use the mask tool over here. Uh, erase tool, sorry, it's called the erase tool over here. So I use the erase tool over here to remove off these uh, electrical poles and stanchions. So yeah, so that's about it guys. Now let me show you the cool part. Uh, let me go to the, all right, this is this icon over here. It's called the creative icon. So when we go to the creative icon, you can see something called as AI sky replacement. Okay, now, so I don't use this much in my images until unless my sky is really bland and, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like I had taken this shot in Oman, so there's, you know, you, you do visit some places where you're not going to visit again and you know, you take that shot, everything is nice, but the sky is a little bit dull, you know. So this is where AI sky replacement helps you. 
so ai sky replacement you can actually select a, a ton of sky options you know like suppose i say just blue sky one see there you go so what it does is it just changes the sky you know so the ai is so powerful if you zoom in okay it's got a bit of bluish over here that other than that it changes the whole sky as well as it changes the whole lighting of uh of the image so let me show you what i mean let's go to blue sky six see that's another dramatic sky now let me show you dramatic sky all right so as you as you can see over here and over here as soon as this sky is green and blue and all that so the whole image you know this part you can't make out of course over here that much but this part it changes and the ai knows that you know which part is the sky which part is the land which part is the horizon so it adjusts accordingly to the image accordingly to the parts of the image you know so if i put dramatic sunset too let's see what happens there you go see so this is what i mean i mean it's just so so convenient you know just change the whole blue sky i mean you know it's it's awesome man let's go to the portrait part now let me select the self portrait which i had okay yeah this one oh by the way yeah this is the one which i have it on the youtube banner also really like this portrait i don't know why all right let's get on to it so what i mean by the ai is that as soon as i select portrait over here so i can adjust all those basic settings over here the the exposure and uh, highlight shadow blah blah ai enhance ai structure i can adjust all that over here but it's got a special functionality for portraits now let's see what that is now let 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 me just zoom into my face okay yeah okay so i got the ai skin and answer and let's see what it does so it's on 100% now and okay it makes it a bit plasticky and you know fake uh, kind of uh, smudge kind of thing which i really hate in any of the portrait yeah so shine removal what shine removal does is like for an oily skin like mine uh, whenever there is flash used or when there is a, a light used um, the the skin kind of reflects of uh, unwanted uh, shininess i don't know even that's a word Uh, unwanted basically light so now let me show you another cool function ai skin defects removal okay this is what i mean okay what i want you to look at is okay i want you to look at the defects on my skin that is 1 2 and 3 over here now the moment i click ai skin defects removal okay it's going to take some time image processing blah blah okay you see this mole over here and this whatever that was it's gone it's it's totally gone it doesn't look artificial it's just gone it's a very powerful tool okay ai portrait enhancer has got ton of other functionalities it's got red eye removal eye whitening the eye enhancer eye enhancer if i boost this up if you can see it so the ai knows what to enhance and what not to enhance so the the moment i bump up something it doesn't it doesn't touch any other part of the image you know eye enhancer means it just touches the eye it's brilliant man Okay, dark dark circles removal. Okay, I don't have them, but let's see what it does. Okay, it's just lightening it. Slim face. Hmm. So <laughs> you see what I mean? Okay, that's a bit funny, but yeah. So you can change your lips. Lip if your lips are darkened, you can darken them. If they're if you want to make them white, you can whiten them. Your teeth, you can whiten. So basically, yeah, that's about it, man. Like, yeah, so. that's it you can adjust your portrait and then of course you can do the basic adjustments over here you can fiddle around the temperature and you have uh, other lumina looks which they call i mean looks here but lats which we know so yeah you got a uh, ton of them over here so when you select portrait so you can select any one of them and you can actually adjust the amount like in the instagram so you can adjust the amount of uh, that uh, particular look which you want so yeah that's about it guys that was it a quick uh, software tour of uh, the one which i'm using right now all right guys so that was it if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon and i'm tired of saying this but please do that i have only 80 subscribers go ahead increase that count <laughs> i mean 
I mean seriously, square, increase that comment. <laughs>